it was popping this little kage and you're not watching Lindsay Yashu. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that also. <laughs> it hurts, I guess. But oh, fuck that also. <laughs> I love y'all. I love women. My mom's a single mother, so gotta love y'all. Pleasure. That's pleasure right there. And inspiration. <clears throat> it's a big inspiration, actually. Shout out to Trippy. I made a song with uh, Antonio on our last interview. I was uh, on the verge of getting that done. That's out now, so check that. Remember. That's where I'm from. That's where I grew up. I love LA. You know what I love in LA, LA actually? That Toronto doesn't have is the taco shops, bro. The taco shops in there are fire. For real. That's just hard. <laughs> I mean, if you're depressed right now, I guess you just gotta know you're never alone because there's always somebody there. Even though you don't know what to say when you're depressed, you just feel alone, but there's people around. Anxiety. Like depression as well, it's a different level, but I guess if you have anxiety, you gotta learn your breathing techniques and stuff, and just learn how to cool it. It's easier than it's done, but it's possible. <laughs> so funny, I just opened this alcohol. I'm the Ciroc Don. Liquor's bad for you, but I love it. Biracialism. I'm a mixed guy, I'm Spanish and Jamaican, so. I guess uh, <clears throat> there was moments in my life where like, I wasn't black enough for my black people and I wasn't Spanish enough for my Spanish people. I guess I can relate to that. But fuck that. I think we should all be equal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're all different skin tones, but the same day we all bleed red. And if you just accept your, your friends and people who are around, you'll live life way better. Don't make that a habit, <clears throat> partying, like a weekend thing, or at least when you deserve it as a reward, celebrate something. Wealth. I like how you didn't say riches, wealth. Wealth can be anything. Wealth isn't just money. Wealth could be like family, friends, love. You can have a lot of anything. Money. Fuck. He makes the girls go around, man. I see the girls go around, and then he makes the world go around, and the girls go down, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Juice world. I'm actually gonna get 999 tatted on me. So far, I have numb. Uh, that's from XXX Tentacion. He had that on his eyes when he passed away. I got it. Juice don't wanna get 999 because he was the big inspiration in my music, too. You hear a lot of like a mixture of like X, Juice, Trippy, like, you know, mix it to make him out. Easy. Fuck. If there was no music, I'd fucking be like a fucking corporate lawyer right now. I don't know. <laughs> I need to love music. I listen to music every single day. And I actually listen to R&B a lot. Just right, right? Just... Ursa. So some people are like, where do you get Ursa from? The name blah, blah, blah. So Ursa is Latin for bear. And I consider myself a teddy bear, a bear, grizzly bear, whatever. But it also comes from, like the root from it is I got it from a Pokemon named Teddy Ursa, which is like this little cute bear, but it would fuck up people, right? But I just took Ursa and Ursa means bear. Yeah. Anime, I fuck with anime hard. I actually haven't been watching lately cause I have a bunch of shit going on. But the last anime I was fucking with is like, <sighs> Attack on Titan. So, Hellcat, um, the way, I, honestly, I made it in a fucking basement, um, I was just, like, feeling lit, and I usually make music, I can't make music without experiences, if not, I just go blank in my head, so, when shit happens on a weekend, whatever, blah, 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 whatever I'm feeling, I just 
make music, right? So a Hellcat is like, Hellcat, why goes screaming, hell yeah, yeah. You know, it's, why goes on the weekend, screaming, hell yeah, you know, they're from fucking country side or something, you know. Yeah, I decided to do a school theme because like, I could have got like a Hellcat, a couple of Hellcats and did a video, you know, rapping in front of cars, blah, blah, but I wanted to do something more just like movie style, you know, like a scene and whatever. So I got hired a teacher and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it came out good, it came out good. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't wanna take it to the bank, man. I don't wanna take it to the bank, man. I don't wanna take it to the bank, man. I don't wanna take it to the bank, man. So deep end, deep end, I made that shit in like 10, 15 minutes. And basically when I made that shit, I don't really make music like that, but when I made it, it was just like pissed off type shit. And it came out as is, you can go listen to that. And um, it was basically, you know, this problem, this standard and third, and like, I don't want to take it to the deep end, you know? It is what it is. I mean, yeah, I made that shit in 10, 15 minutes. I don't remember when, but it was in the vault for like a couple months. And I'm just like, I'm gonna release this. So I released it on Ursa because I needed some hard shit, some rock star shit, you know? Oh, My important songs, I guess so. <clears throat> Hellcat, I was feeling Hellcat because that's like a lit vibe and shit. Deep End also because I also, you know, I write on my music. Oh, I don't write, I just freestyle it. And when I make it, it comes from somewhere, right? So Deep End hit, you know, somewhere for me. And also Remember, uh, also Coil Array. I like the song Coil Array and uh, Overdose. I did some rock shit on my, um, some like punk music on my my album, right? So yeah, those are, those are the top, I guess, four songs type shit for me. Okay, so I guess go, going more in depth, depth for racism, I guess I'm gonna talk about more uh, being an Afro-Latino. Uh, Afro-Latino just basically means I'm black Spanish, I'm black Latino, you know, and uh, going more in depth for that is just like, like I mentioned before, is like, so like growing up, I always grew up around racism and I never minded it because I'm just like, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I grew up in the hood and shit, so people just, put us in that little community just because we come from there or we look a certain way. Um, so growing up as an Afro-Latino, I guess I've just been more, you know, I'm not Spanish enough for my Latin people. And I'm not black enough for my black people, you know what I'm saying? So I always uh, surrounded myself with other, you know, uh, ethnicities that ac accepted me. I always had black people and Spanish people around me, but the majority, I guess people who are old school type thing, they just, didn't really accept me because of my skin color, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I feel like in the Latin community, we should just become more, you know, I feel like Latinos are just like, they're like four years behind, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, and I feel like we need to progress, you know, we're in 2021, we need to like start accepting people, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, just, that's one thing I wanna wanna get into this whole this whole Latinx type thing and this whole Afro Latino type thing. It's coming more it's more embraced now, you know, so that's a good thing. So I'm trying to embrace myself more as an Afro Latino. Sure. This just starts with our parents. You know what I'm saying? If you have parents who are racist, they're gonna tell you don't go with this, this certain race, don't trust this certain race, oh, don't act like this certain race, you know what I'm saying? So I guess getting that old school mindset erased from your mind is, is a progress, you know what I'm saying? And just like, just cause like, you listen to hip hop, you fucking, you like to wear jewelry like this, like you like to wear gold in your, in your, in your mouth and shit doesn't mean you're African American. This is just the fashion, you know what I'm saying? We need to stop like 
looking at it that way, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like he wasn't here to grow up. He wasn't here to grow up for real. Just have fun, you know? Just get like this all join hands, take shots together. I feel like in the past, racism was just more accepted. Like we'll walk in the street and you'll be like, oh, here, you're this and that. And like, oh, okay, we'll just keep going on with our day. I feel like now the new generation are, they're not putting their foot down. You know, of all races, they're putting their foot down and they're just getting tired of it. They're just getting tired of it. And now they're doing rise, this, that, and third. And it's a good thing because like the George Floyd thing, that wasn't cool. That, that shit is fucking whack as fuck, you know what I'm saying? So uh, luckily we have these voices, a lot of voices that will join hands together and come together and make it noticeable to their government, their president, that this shit is whack and we're gonna riot until we get what we want, you know what I'm saying? And obviously there's people out there that like, I guess racist ass people who don't give a shit. They're like, oh, why you gotta make it always a black thing? Why you gotta make it always a race thing? Because it is, you know what I'm saying? There's actually officers out there that have hate in their heart for a specific race, you know? And it's crazy because becoming a police officer is like the easiest thing to do. <laughs> you don't have to go to much schooling and everything else you do. So I feel like there should be more schooling and background checks for becoming a police officer because there's a lot of police officers that just only target, you know, minorities. And I've been targeted by police officers, you know, just because of my skin color and I was hanging around with a bunch of white kids. So it is what it is. Okay, that was a step for change, definitely. Cause then the other police officer, law enforcement, see that this shit can happen to you. But at the same time, there's a million cases a week of this same shit. And that's just one person, you know what I'm saying? So imagine how many other officers and law enforcement are getting away with this. So what are your thoughts on this? He has melodies. He's good with his melodies. He's not just like da 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 He has some melodies. No doubt, no doubt. Oh, this nigga sounds like Pop Smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. So what do you think about the song? He's lit. Is he related to Pop Smoke or something? Um, he's similar to Pop Smoke musically, but uh, not blood related. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, he's inspired. He's inspired, definitely. I guess he was just trying to. Hopefully, he means it in a good way. He's kind of jacking his swag a bit. Said Tia Banks. Yeah, Tia Banks. Yeah. Maybe five <laughs> She's lit. <laughs> Toronto needs, she's from Toronto? Yeah, yeah. Toronto needs more female artists. <laughs> with, actual, with an actual voice. I like it. Shit. These guys still lit. They're the future of rock stars. Speedy little love and joy. Joy habits. I got love habits. Speedy little for love. Speedy little for love and joy. Joy habits. I got love habits. They're lit. They're so lit. Bad neighbors. Shout bad neighbors. I want to make a song with them.
They're so lit. You should actually listen to the music, it's lit. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Thanks for watching my interview. Shout out Yashu. Yeah, I already know. I got some new music coming out, obviously, but I'm not gonna tell you what's coming out. You're just gonna see it. And if you don't see it, it is what it is.